The 2001 Sooner season included 11 wins, two National Player of the Year award winners, and culminated with a Cotton Bowl win over Arkansas. We'll look back at the entire season next as we recap Oklahoma's 2001 football season. Cellular One has plans that fit the way you talk. For all the who's, when's, why's, and where's, there's a plan that's right for you. Which is something Oklahoma has come to count on. And now with all digital networks with plans like Talk USA for only $29.99, plus the new family and friends feature and even more. Not to mention a proud sponsor of OU Athletics. However you talk, Cellular One. Plans that fit the way you talk. The Sooner season started with the earliest game in school history, an August 25th battle against North Carolina in the Hispanic Scholarship Classic. The Tar Heels would be the first of seven bowl teams that OU would face in 2001. And starting early is just what the Sooners did on the game's second play from scrimmage. Senior Brandon Moore forces the Carolina fumble. Another senior, Rocky Calvis, is there for the recovery. That led to a Tim Duncan field goal, and the Sooners had the lead just a minute and a half into the season. It's good. It took the Sooner offense just three plays to find the end zone on their next series. Nate Hibble calling signals, gets the exchange, gives the ball to Griffin, cuts to his left, he's in the end zone, touchdown up the home. On the ensuing kickoff, Kicker Tim Duncan forced another Tar Heel turnover. It took just four plays for the Sooners to capitalize. It was 17-0 OU with less than four minutes played. Before the quarter would end, the Sooners' defense would join in on the fun. It's picked up by Thomas. He's at the 10, to the 5, touchdown Oklahoma! Even after Carolina found the end zone, the Sooner special teams had an answer. Deep onside, Savage has it up the middle, has it, uh, uh, and he goes to the left of 35-40, 45-50, 45-40, 35-30, 25-20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Oklahoma! The Sooners jumping out to a 31-7 first quarter lead, and the Sooner defense wasn't done just yet. He looks up field, he fires a pass, it's intercepted at the 45 30, 35 30, 25 to his right to 22, still going cutting across field, at the 20 yard line, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and it's a touchdown open, Derek Strait. Oklahoma forced five turnovers on the way to a 41-27 win over North Carolina. The Sooners next traveled to Colorado Springs to take on the Air Force Academy. Both teams had a little trouble getting started. OU putter Jeff Ferguson putted five times for an average of 54 yards. No effort bigger than this one. The Sooners used a solid ground attack against the Air Force. Led by Quentin Griffin, the junior from Texas ran for 201 yards on the day. That run set up the game's first score, a run by quarterback Nate Hibble. Kicker Tim Duncan added a 47-yard field goal to make it 10-0 OU. That was the longest in the OU career for the senior from Clinton, Oklahoma. Nate Hibble threw for only 161 yards on the day, but 68 of those came on back-to-back -back plays. Two wide receivers to both sides. Hibble backs up, he looks to pass, still looking. Great protection, pass down for Hazelman. Full ball catch up to 45 40, 35 30, 25 to his left, down to 15 yard line where he's back. Then Hibble finished off this drive by hitting what would be his favorite target of the season, his roommate, Trent Smith. Trent Smith burned him on the blitz as Trent Smith got the catch untouched in the end zone. Despite having the ball seven and a half minutes less than the Falcons, OU went into halftime with a 20 to three lead. Second field goal is good. In the second half, 
Oklahoma grounded the Air Force to just 81 total yards. While Butkus Award winner Rocky Kalma showed why he was the nation's best linebacker. Tipped in the air, intercepted by Oklahoma at the 40. Kalma's 35, 30, jumps one tackle. He's at the 25, he's up to 20, 15 to the 10. And dragged down from behind is Rocky Kalma's the All-American. Safety Brandon Everidge had 12 tackles against the option-happy Falcons. While Lawton freshman Antonio Perkins came up with one of the Sooners' four turnovers they would force on the day. And Hibble wasn't done either. This eight-yard pass to freshman Mark Clayton gave OU a 27-point lead. The Oklahoma defense would find the end zone for the second straight game. Senior Corey Heineke rambled 69 yards for the score. 44-3, Oklahoma Downs Air Force improving to 2-0. Next up, another bowl bound team, the Mean Green from North Texas. The Sooners found themselves trailing for the first time in 2001, but answered right back. Nate Hibble was 6 for 6 on OU's first drive, completing passes to five different receivers before finding number 22 for 6. Fletch is on, the pass is thrown, it's caught by Greb at the 12, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Oklahoma! It took OU just three plays to find the end zone on their next possession. This play to Ronaldo really worked. 40, 45, 50, he's at the 45, 40, 35, 30, down the sideline to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Oklahoma. 72 yards, Ronaldo works. Ronaldo works 72 yard run gave OU a 14 to 3 lead. Quentin Griffin ran for 71 yards on the day. This 14 yarder made it 21-10 Sooners at the half. The second half belonged to the great Sooner defense. Mike Stoops and Brent Venables bunch showed why their squad was ranked fifth nationally. Oklahoma limited North Texas to just one first down in the half. Freshman Tommy Harris proving he was one of the best freshmen in the nation. The Sooner offense providing the only offense of the third quarter. Nate Hibble throwing for 350 yards, but he used his great offensive line here for six. Roy Williams, honored as the Nagurski Award winner for the best defensive player of the year, proved it again on this day. 12 tackles and two interceptions. Nate Hibble putting the finishing touches on a third straight win. 37 to 10 the final, remaining undefeated. After a three-week layoff due to the September 11th tragedies, the Sooners returned to action with a nationally televised game at Owen Field against the Kansas State Wildcats. ESPN's game day crew was on hand. Early on, the Sooners' D would find the end zone for the fourth time in four games. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Yes, here it was! Roy Williams! <laughs> 18-yard fumble recovery for a touchdown. Nate Hibble went deep to make the lead 14. Lots of long pass downfield. Simon Johnson at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. The Sooner D held the Cats scoreless in the first quarter. 14-0 OU after one. After K-State cut the lead in half, OU answered back in just six plays. Hibble to Griffin for 47 yards. Hibble to Norman for 21 more. Then Hibble to Griffin for six and six. 21-7 OU out in front. It was 21-14 Sooners when OU went wall to wall. Hunter Wall to Antoine Savage. Back to wall. Good for 33 yards and a 28-14 Sooner halftime lead. Hunter Wall. How about that? 
the second half, K-State's offense would go nowhere against the Sooner D. While Antoine Savage continued his great day. Pass up field. It's caught by Savage. 50, 45, 40, 35, 40, 25, 20, 50, 10, 5. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Savage's 75-yard TD gave OU a commanding 35-14 lead. Kansas State rebounded by scoring the next 14 points, cutting the OU advantage to just eight. It would have been seven, but Rocky Kalmus came up with a huge play by blocking the K-State PAT. The Sooners answered back with a 16-play drive that took six minutes and 10 seconds off the fourth quarter clock. Capped off by Tim Duncan's 33-yard field goal, OU was back on top by 11 with four minutes to play. The Cats made it 38-35, then 38-37 after Jeff Ferguson took a safety deep in OU territory. But Kansas State's last attempt falls short. Oklahoma knocks off Kansas State for the third time in the last 11 games, 38-37 the final. Hey, 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 you, sometimes you gotta win 13 to 2, sometimes you gotta win 38, 37, right? That's all right. Doesn't matter. That's the way to find a way to win. And I'm gonna tell you, right? You said this uh, a lot, you know, that's why you got Sooners on your on your chest and all you on your helmet, you find a way to win. And that, that was a hard fought football game. I told you at halftime it wasn't over, right? So we knew we were gonna have to keep playing ball. You know they're a prideful football team. We needed to keep playing, playing hard and making plays. I tell you what, uh, defense came up when they had to. Offense came up with that big drive at the end to use up clock to get three points on the board. All right, to, get, to give us what we needed to win. Next up was another nationally televised affair, the annual Red River Shootout against Texas in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. The Longhorns were out to prove that last year's embarrassment was just a fluke. But the Sooner defense would frustrate Texas quarterback Chris Sims all day long. Most of the day, he couldn't get a pass off. The Sooners sacked Sims five times. When he did complete passes, the Sooners were waiting as well. Sims completed 24 passes on the day. He threw another four to OU defenders. He'll throw a long pass and it's intercepted at the 40, 45, 50. That's Wolfolk at the 40, 35, 30. Down the sideline to the 25. Andre Wolfolk playing quarterback on the right side, picked it off at the 40. This would be another epic OU Texas battle. Game scoreless in the second quarter. The Longhorns with a chance to take the lead, but Andre Wolfolk would have other ideas. The Oklahoma offense would use that momentum and go on an 11 play drive, led by Tuttle sophomore Jason White. Man in motion from left to right. Here's Mackey down the line. Option play. White pitches to Griffith. 30, 25, 20. He's out of bounds inside the 50. Gets the snap. Hands the ball to Griffith. Keeps the ball. White goes to the 10. He's to the 5. He puts the head down. Gets about the 2. Just upfield from the 2. White. Option play. Looks. Pitches to Griffin. Sweeps left side. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Griffin's seventh touchdown run in two years against Texas, making it 7 0 OU. Who would have thought this would be all Oklahoma would need for the day? The Sooners would go into the locker room with a 7 3 halftime lead. It was still 7 3 in the fourth quarter. Texas driving for the go ahead score, but Antonio Perkins took six away from the horns. Tim Duncan ten taxes in at their own three, setting the stage for the play of the year. It's the exchange from Treats in the end zone, and the ball! <laughs> <laughs> touchdown. A touchdown, Oklahoma! Superman leaping over the long horn line, hitting Sims' arm, deflecting it into the arms of Teddy Lehman. Roy Williams' play giving the Sooners a 14-3 lead. Williams would again haunt Sims on Texas' next offensive play. And it's intercepted at the 50-yard line. Three, two, Roy Williams. Oklahoma's dominating defensive performance, causing four turnovers and limiting Texas to just 27 yards rushing. Oklahoma winning its second straight Red River battle, 14-3 the final, improving to 5-0 on the season.
There was little letdown in Lawrence after the Texas win. OU down 3-0 early created opportunity for themselves. Draw play to Duncan, but he'll be short. Fumble, the ball is free. It's picked up by Roy Williams, I believe, and Oklahoma has the ball in the second turnover of the game. Roy Williams' fumble recovery led to Tim Duncan's 38-yard field goal, tying things up at three. Jason White came off the bench to record his best game as a Sooner. White ran for 117 yards and found Trent Smith for the game's first touchdown. Jason White calls the signal, takes the ball, takes a quick pass in the end zone. It's great pass, great catch by Trent Smith, who missed one right to him a moment ago, made a one-handed catch there for the touchdown. Oklahoma up 10 to three. The combo of White to Smith worked well on this night. Smith with a record 11 catches for 70 yards and four touchdowns. Blitz, White, a long pass in the end zone. Trent Smith jumps high, touchdown Oklahoma. The Sooners led 17-3 at the break. As they'd done so often in 2001, the Sooner defense was overpowering in the second half, limiting KU to just one first down. Meanwhile, the White to Smith show was just heating up. Pass thrown behind. Touchdown, what a catch! Trent Smith makes the touchdown catch thrown behind him. White finished the game 18 of 29 passing for 151 yards and four touchdowns, all to Trent Smith. Shotgun formation from the Kansas State. Josh White, pass in the end zone, touchdown Oklahoma. Trent Smith again. Ronaldo Works finished the center scoring. Oklahoma racking up more than 400 yards in total offense on the way to a 38-10 win moving their mark to 6-0 for the season. Victim number seven were the Bears from Baylor. Still without a Big 12 win ever, the Bears were trying to pull off the upset. The Sooner offense came out and moved the ball right down the field on the opening drive. Jason White, in his first collegiate start, led the Sooners to their first score, finding Curtis Fagan. Fast White, lost it, Fagan, has Fagan open, touchdown Oklahoma! Great drive, 80 yards. The Bears tied things up on the ensuing kickoff. Touchdown, into the wind, the wind holds it up. Two Baylor Bears take it as the Kuroga gets it at the eight to the 10. He breaks free at the 25, 30. He may go all the way. 45, 50, 45, 40, he will score as he goes the length of the field and scores. White led OU back. He would connect with Mark Clayton eight times on the day, twice on this drive. White finished the day 32 of 44 for 343 yards. Then Jason called his own number, giving OU the lead. Roy Williams made sure the Sooners kept the lead with his fourth interception of the season. He's off the intended receiver, and Roy Williams picks it up. That's his fourth pick of the year. That would lead to a Tim Duncan field goal, putting OU up by 10. Curtis Fagan was solid all year returning punts. This 37-yard return helped set up another Sooner score. Under center, pitch for the sweep to work, left 15, 10, 5, 1, touchdown Oklahoma! Great blocking by the receiver. Tim Duncan made it 27-7 Oklahoma at the half with his 19-yard field goal. Ronaldo Works finished the scoring for the Sooners. Oklahoma with a 33-17 win, their 20th consecutive win overall, the longest streak in the nation. That set the stage for another Oklahoma-Nebraska contest, another game of the century. Number one Oklahoma and number two Nebraska in the recently released BCS standings. OU won the toss, deferred, then forced the Huskers to a three and out on their first series. On Nebraska's second series, the Sooner defense forced Nebraska backwards. Losses on consecutive plays forcing another punt. In fact, Nebraska punted five times in the opening quarter. 
the Sooners drove the ball against Nebraska's black shirt defense on their first drive of the second quarter. Quentin Griffin with 16 yards here. Then Jason White showing his elusiveness by picking up 11 more. OU was driving when White connected with Griffin for a game down to the Huskers 22. But on the play, the Sooners would lose Jason White for the season after hurting his knee after the throw. Nate Hibble responded by finishing the drive in style. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Touchdown, great throw by Hibble and a great catch by Trent Smith. Oklahoma had quieted the crowd of more than 78,000. OU trailed 10-7 late in the second quarter, but Nate Hibble brought the Sooners back. Hibble's completion to Josh Norman was good for 18 yards, setting up a first and goal from the Huskers, too. But Oklahoma had to settle for a Tim Duncan field goal, and the teams were tied at 10 at halftime. Early in the second half, Nate Hibble made one of his only mistakes of the game. Hibble's pass was intercepted by Erwin Swinney. The Sooner D rallied when it needed to most. Josh Brown's field goal was good, but OU trailed only 13 to 10. In the fourth quarter, Tim Duncan came in again and pinned the Huskers at their own three-yard line. The Sooners appeared to have Heisman Trophy winner Eric Crouch stopped on third and two, but Tommy Harris was called for face masking, giving Nebraska new life. On the very next play, Nebraska took advantage. The Sooners had limited Crouch to just 21 yards rushing on the day, his lowest total of the season. But Nebraska would win this big red battle 20 to 10, snapping the nation's longest winning streak at 20 games. The Sooners returned home the next week to take on Tulsa. It was another freshman who would make his mark in this contest. Brandon Jones returned seven punts for 150 yards. His first set up Tim Duncan's 25-yard field goal. OU jumped out 3-0. Duncan made it 6-0, then Quentin Griffin started his big day. Under center is Hibble, pitch sweep left side. Griffin, 10 to the 5. Dives in, five on, touchdown Oklahoma. Q gave the Sooners a 20-0 lead at the half. Wide open, to the five, touchdown Oklahoma. The Sooner defense was still in complete control starting the second half. Cut it off, rolls to his right, throws a pass upfield. It's intercepted Roy at the 24-yard line. And that's Roy Williams. Able from the shotgun, against gets driven over the right side. To the five, big hole, touchdown Oklahoma. His third touchdown of the day, that one was an 11-yard run. They start the third period here as picking off a pass and then going in in just two plays. Hibble would connect to Griffin for Quentin's fourth score of the game. Five touchdown! Boy, that was something. Hibble wasn't done either. 36 of 48 for 347 yards and three touchdowns. This to Josh Norman ups the advantage to 41-0 after three. Even freshman Hunter Wall got into the eye, hitting Antoine Savage for yet another score. An old-fashioned blowout. 58-0 Oklahoma shuts out Tulsa. Win number 18 in a row at Owen Field. Another Big 12 South matchup was next. ABC cameras in Norman again for the Sooners and the Texas A&M Aggies. A&M got the breaks early, jumping out to a 10-0 lead. But once again, it was the Sooner defense rising to the occasion, allowing A&M just three first downs in the first half, while the special teams provided the play of the half. And they blocked the kick. He did not ever get the kick off. The Sooners will have the ball. Well, he's still not down. The Sooners needed just three plays to even the contest at 10. In the end zone, touchdown Oklahoma! A bullet pass to Antoine Savage. With the game tied at 10 in the third quarter, it was the OU special teams pulling out another goodie from its bag of tricks. And he leans down. Touchdown oh, Oklahoma, I believe. 
Duncan added the PAT, giving the Sooners a 17-10 lead. Finally, they were off and going against the Aggies. Hibble making it 24-10 early in the fourth. Then he hits Mark Clayton to put OU up 31-10. Mark Clayton wide open, and the post pattern. The Sooner D held AM to just two second half first downs, and a measly 55 yards of total offense. Oklahoma improving to 9-1 overall, win number 19 in a row at home. The Sooners' last road challenge of the season was down in Lubbock against Texas Tech. Another ABC audience got to see perhaps Roy Williams' best performance of the season. Early on, Williams' deflection fell right into the hands of Corey Cron. The two teams exchanged 42-yard field goals. The game was tied at three after one. The Sooners finished a 13-play, six-minute, 41-second drive with Duncan's second field goal of the game. OU up 6-3. They'd increased the margin to 10. Nate Hibble capping off a 10-play drive spotting a seldom used target. Fires a pass the end zone. Tony, touchdown Oklahoma. Touchdown Tony. First catch of the year. OU held a 13-10 lead into the third quarter. Nate Hibble was 33 of 50 for 274 yards. His second TD pass was the only score of the third quarter. Pass caught at the five. Touchdown Oklahoma. That was to Savage. The Tech offense couldn't muster anything in the second half against the OU defense, picking up just three first downs in the half. The Red Raiders had only four offensive plays in OU territory in the half. Keep this drive alive, get the ball away from Kingsbury. The wrestling five, there's a lob pass down the field. Clayton's open at the 15, to the 10, to the five. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Clayton got away from his man, no flag, and Hibble threw a perfect pass. 30 to 13, the final score. Oklahoma now 10 and one, and looking to wrap up the Big 12 South title. Oklahoma State stood between the Sooners and a second consecutive Big 12 South championship. Senior day for the OU seniors was a day they'd probably like to forget. Quentin Griffin with a 10-yard touchdown run as Oklahoma enjoyed a 10-6 halftime lead. Griffin also caught six passes, extending his consecutive game streak to 29 straight contests. And Trent Smith caught four passes for 36 yards, breaking Stephen Alexander's mark for catches by a tight end. Oklahoma State sacked Nate Hibble seven times on the day. And freshman Josh Fields would lead OSU on a last-minute drive leading the Cowboys past the Sooners, 16 to 13. The Sooners still with one goal to reach, a bowl championship. Oklahoma and Arkansas in the 2002 Cotton Bowl. The first time ever the Sooners have played in the Cotton Bowl. Oklahoma would spend the week practicing at the campus of SMU. Bowl games mean lots of bowl gifts for the players. It also means the players giving back to the communities. On this day, the Sooner players visited patients at Dallas's Scottish Rite Children's Hospital. The Sooners bringing gifts and signing autographs for the kids. And safety Roy Williams even spent time playing video games with this youngster. Freshman center Vince Carter was a past patient at the hospital. It means a lot to me because I know what they're going through. I know. When they, uh, I just, I mean, I know, I've been where they are right now, and just to be able to, cause I, I never thought I'd be able to come back, but just to come back, I mean, and, and sign these autographs and take these pictures, I mean, it's it real special to me. The week ending with a Cotton Bowl meeting with the Arkansas Razorbacks. A sea of red selling out the Cotton Bowl. The first time in 66 oh editions of this great bowl that Oklahoma would take part. <laughs> The Sooner defense would save perhaps their best performance of the season for last. OU held the Hogs to 50 total yards in 55 total offensive plays, less than one yard per play. And the Sooners sacked Arkansas's two quarterbacks, Zach Clark and Matt Jones, a school record tying nine times. Matt McCoy intercepted Clark on Arkansas's second series, setting up OU's first score.
the Sooners going on a 13-play, 63-yard drive. Capped off by Nate Hibble's quarterback sneak. OU led 7-0 at the end of the first half. The Sooner defense limiting the Razorbacks to just two first downs in the half. Tim Duncan's field goal improved OU's advantage to 10-0 early in the third quarter. Roy Williams had two sacks and three tackles for loss against Arkansas. And senior Rocky Calamus registered 10 tackles and recovered a fumble in his final game as a Sooner. Oklahoma knocked off Arkansas 10 to 3 to win the 2002 Cotton Bowl and once again finish the season as bowl champions. The 22nd bowl championship in school history, the first ever Cotton Bowl crown. Tell you what, that's a great job. Don't ever not appreciate winning. I'm going to tell you something. That's a dang special game. I tell you what, that's important to this program. For your pride, for all our pride, again, everyone's going to want to see this score and find out what the defending national champs did today. And going out and winning, I don't care again. 10-3, 38 to 37, it doesn't matter. You won. You found a way to win. You got 11 wins. You're going to be a top 10 team in the country. That means a lot. All right? Proud of you seniors. Cannot thank you guys enough for your leadership, your toughness. I appreciate all you guys today and waiting. Let's hear it for the seniors. All you guys, no, preparing, you, you, you enjoyed the week, we prepared well, we practiced well, we were ready to play this football game. Seniors, everybody got a game ball! Whole team, 11 victories, entire team! The 2001 Oklahoma Sooners will always be remembered for its dominating defense. Two Sooners were honored as the best players in the nation at their position. Jink senior Rocky Kalmus was awarded the Dick Butkus Award as the best linebacker in college football. I believe Rocky uh, deserves uh, winning the Buckus Award uh, because of his play uh, uh, through this season, his leadership, uh, one of the better defenses in the country, uh, along with that uh, a player that makes plays uh, each and every time he's on the field. He leads our team in tackles. Uh, he's come up with a number of interceptions and fumble recoveries for touchdowns. He's, um, he is the leader, uh, you know, in our defensive scheme and, and a player that uh, week in and week out shows up making plays that make a difference in us winning. He has all the attributes that you look for in a great defensive player and a great linebacker. Very tough, very physical, and a great tackler. Uh, you know, mentally tough. That's played on broken leg before. He's played with casts and, and broken wrists and thumbs. Um, still making plays, still creating sacks, lost yardage plays, uh, making big plays that make a difference in games. But um, 
Uh, I'd say his, his uh, ability as a leader, his toughness, his ability to tackle, and, and natural instinct uh, to get to the football. Goes to Andre Williams over the tackle, finds a gap. Ball is fumbled, it's in the air, it's on the ground, it's picked up by Columbus. He's at the 10 for the 5. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Columbus blocked it. <laughs> He's a humble, quiet person. Uh, though very tough and disciplined on the football field. Uh, but uh, just an all-around great person. Uh, he's, a, he's a coach's uh, dream. The coach would love to have uh, a whole team uh, full of uh, Rocky Calvinists because, uh, again, the leadership, the, the toughness, but, but just an excellent student in person, uh, you know, in everything that he does. Rocky's teammate, Roy Williams, won the Thorpe Award as the nation's top defensive back, as well as the Bronco Nagurski Award as simply the best defensive player in the country. Well, Roy Williams, uh, as you watch the, the plays and the impact he has had on our team, um, you know, in big football games, uh, Kansas State, Texas, and Nebraska, and so on down, you know, where a defense has controlled and, and won so many of the games and, and dominated the game. And Roy Williams is the guy making the plays, uh, creating touchdowns, uh, whether he's the guy in the end zone getting the touchdown or against Texas where he strips the football in the end zone and, and forces an interception for a touchdown. Uh, the very next play, we kick the ball off. He's the player making the tackle. And then they throw the ball downfield in the very next play, and he's the guy making the interception uh, to seal the game. Uh, Roy Williams, it, it, you know, he just makes plays. Now they probably will be laying back. They are indeed, and back to pass is Sims. He throws up the middle, and it's intercepted at the 50-yard line. Who is? Who? Roy Williams. Perhaps the best player in all of college football is Roy Williams. He may not get an invitation to New York for the Heisman, Sean, but a lot of people think he deserves one. Roberson gets the exchange, option play. He pitches hit. He fumbles the ball. Sooners pick it up. Williams to the five. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Guess who it was? Roy Williams. <laughs> Quarterback Hall rolls right, looks up field, fires a pass. Roy Here's Williams it. intercepts at the 29. This guy is amazing. 220 pounds. He's got linebacker height. He's got small forward jumping ability. He is just, not only is he explosive to the ball, but the way he sees, he reacts before the offense has a chance to make a play. Wilson Thomas down the line to the, the right this time. Option crotch pitches the ball and hit a great tackle on the back for you. Roy Williams knife through and just uh, knocked the pins out from under Darren Diedrich and a loss on the play back to the 23, a three-yard loss, and that's vintage Roy Williams. That's for the goal, 49 pointer. Bryant is Roy Williams batting it in the air and it's incomplete. He almost made another amazing athletic play. Sooner showing blitz, back to pass crouch. Hey, Roy. Ball is batted away by Roy Williams, who jumped up in the air and batted that just as it got off the launching pad. But such a nice job right here at the top of your screen. He sees the flare pass, so he stops his rush, reads the eyes of Kingsbury. What an athletic play. Well, you know, he's a guy that uh, came out of California. I don't know how he's hyped out of California. 
recruited with John Blake. He was here when Stoops got here, and he's had a great career. He is a, a force on the field as a defensive back, and usually have to be a linebacker or a pass rusher to do that. This guy touches the ball and makes more tackles than any defensive back I've ever seen. You know, Roy Williams is the most dominant defensive back I've ever seen in college football. And, uh, Deion Sanders and Pro and this guy in college, they, they influence the ball game. Well, we know the Heisman Trophy doesn't often go to a defensive player, but he's the best player I've seen this year, Ed. Oh, he's fantastic. It's exchange for Treats in the end zone, and the ball! <laughs> a touchdown, Oklahoma! Jimmy Lehman on the interception, as Sims was hit, the ball went in the air. Roy Williams. You're unbelievable. Roy Williams deserves every consideration and, and should be uh, one of the leading candidates for the Heisman Trophy. Uh, the Heisman Trophy is awarded to the most outstanding college football player. Uh, many coaches, players around the country, as well as writers, are recognizing that that, fit, that description fits Roy Williams. When you look at how he dominates a game defensively, uh, you know, that isn't easy to do, and, and he does it. Uh, and he does it by creating turnovers. Uh, that lead to points that help you win the football game. He does it by being a great tackler, by, uh, by creating pressure on quarterbacks. And uh, all that together, uh, he has proven that in big football games. Roy Williams, on the defensive side of the ball, has, has taken control of games and, and helped us win them. The 2001 Oklahoma Sooners, finishing with a record of 11-2 and, and the Cotton Bowl champions. And 2002 looks to be just as exciting as OU returns 17 starters from this year's squad. 24 wins and two bowl championships in the past two seasons. And 31-7 and in the three years of the Bob Stoops era. This is Oklahoma football. Dobson Cellular has plans that fit the way you talk. For all the who's, when's, why's, and where's, there's a plan that's right for you. Which is something Oklahoma has come to count on. And now with all digital networks with plans like Talk USA for only $29.99, plus the new family and friends feature and even more. Not to mention a proud sponsor of OU Athletics. However you talk, Dobson Cellular. Plans that fit the way you talk. This has been a Sooner Vision presentation for the Sooner Sports Network in cooperation with Sooner Sports Properties.